Hello, everybody. Today is Tuesday, February 13th. I'm Anthony DeQuisto. And I'm Baron Everly. Let's get into today's announcements. For anyone interested in trying out for this baseball team this spring, there will be an informational meeting today in room 132 at 2.50 p.m. This meeting will go over all necessary information you need for your tryouts. The meeting will last 10 minutes. See Coach Shola with any questions. Any girl interested in playing softball this season must attend softball tryouts beginning on Monday, February 19th. The first tryout begins at 3 p.m. in the main gym. The tryout will go from 3 to 5.15. Any questions, see Coach Matuzic in room 263. The Avon Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is selling bracelets this week at lunch to support their fundraising campaign for blood cancer. Buy a bracelet for $2 and sign a pledge to support the LLS. The team has currently raised $14,000 and needs your help to reach their goal of raising $25,000. Please support their worthy cause. So we work for Great Lakes Theater, which is Cleveland's classic company up in uh, downtown Cleveland. And we come in for a week to do, we do, depending on the school and what, uh, what the classes are teaching, we'll do a variety of different plays. Here we're doing Romeo and Juliet, and we are here for the week. We start off by uh, introducing ourselves to all the students and then jump right in. Um, we do a bunch of different scenes from the play and then we have discussions about it and we're trying to elicit conversation that's along the lines of what would you do in their situation and that kind of stuff and really dig into it. This is something I wish I had had as a high schooler because uh, first off, especially with, with drama, it's, it's meant to be seen and experienced rather than read. Like that's just the medium it's designed for. And so it's, it's you know, when you're, when you're learning like music or when you're like watching a movie, you're not, you know, when you're like, oh, I love this Marvel movie. I would love for you to read the screenplay. Like nobody says that because it's not the medium it's designed for. And especially with the language of a Shakespeare play being 400 some years old, um, I find it easier to understand and easier to get the comprehension through when you can see it and you can see like whether it's our choices or the students who are acting, you can see their body language and you can hear their tone and understand what's going on even if you don't quite know how to conjugate like the, thou, thy kind of thing. It's really awesome to give students a voice mm -hmm. and um, ask them questions that they haven't been asked before and actually want to hear their answer. Um, so often we'll ask people their opinions on certain matters and they're shocked to find out that we want to hear what they have to say. Mm -hmm. So it gives, them a, a di a, a, it gives them a voice in a new, different way. Um, and it gives uh, students an outlet for creativity that they might have never experienced before. That's all we have for you today, Eagles. I'm Baron Everly. And I'm Anthony Aquisto. Thank you for watching.